Welcome back to the Crypto World Channel, everyone. My name is Joshua, and right now the Bitcoin price is still bouncing from this important level of support while we're forming this bullish divergence in the shorter term. So I'll be talking about all of that in just a moment alongside the Bitcoin short positions and the Bitcoin fee and greed index. And towards the end of this video, I'll include the stock markets because that is likely determining short-term crypto price action. But before getting into all of that, first, let's take a look at the four-hour Bitcoin charts. And of course, we are still forming this bullish divergence that I talked about yesterday. Today. And obviously, for those of you that have been watching my Bitcoin update videos over the past one week, approximately, ever since this point right here, I've been leaning more bearish on the Bitcoin price just in the shorter term. And of course, that has played out very well. And one of the reasons why I've stayed bearish in the shorter term over the past five to six days is simply due to the lack of bullish patterns and indicators on the Bitcoin charts. But obviously, this bullish divergence now changes that because for the beginners out there, a bullish divergence just means that the bears are losing momentum in the shorter term. So the most common outcomes from a bullish divergence is either sideways price action or a slight move back to the upside. And a bullish move back to the upside would be more likely to play out if the Bitcoin RSI stays in this uptrend. And also over the past few days, I've been looking at this Bitcoin fractal, which was suggesting about at around 36.4k approximately. And at least at the time of recording this video, we have just seen a Bitcoin bounce slightly underneath 36,400. So as of right now, this four hour Bitcoin fractal is still very much valid. The only inaccuracy that we have seen so far is the fact that this bounce was slightly after this first suggested bounce or slightly before this second suggested bounce, which is why I always say that I use fractals as more of a guideline for the Bitcoin price rather than an exact prediction, because usually they don't exactly predict every future Bitcoin move. Instead, it is more likely for Bitcoin to follow similar market patterns, but not necessarily the exact same. And it is definitely great to see Bitcoin bounce right here, because looking on the daily Bitcoin chart, that means we are still holding this level of support coming in at around 37,000. In fact, we saw almost a perfect daily candle close and open at that 37K level. And once again, for those of you that have been here for around a week, we were expecting a lot of support at 37K immediately after we broke below the $39,500 level. But if you're wondering about some other important levels of support and resistance, first of all, of course, that 37K level is still our active Bitcoin support. And that $39,000 to $40,000 level is our active resistance resistance. And in a more bearish scenario, let's just say if Bitcoin does end up falling below 37,000 and seeing a confirmed break below, then in that case, I would expect at least some short term support at around 35,000 and around 33,000. And if you're looking in the Bitcoin fear and greed index right now, the Bitcoin market is sitting in extreme fear. And how this indicator works is basically the further we go into extreme fear, then it becomes more and more likely that a bullish reversal is just around the corner. For example, one month ago today, the Bitcoin fear and greed index was sitting at 11. So that is really into the extreme fear. And if you're looking on the chart, one month ago today was right around here, just as Bitcoin was bottoming out at around 33,000 before we went on to see a 40% pump over the next two and a half weeks. But we still have to keep in mind that we're technically still in a shorter term downtrend if you're talking about the price action over the past couple of weeks or so. First of all, at least when you're talking about this shorter term trend, we are still yet to form a higher high and we're also still yet to form a higher low. And on top of that, the parabolic stop and reverse indicator is still sitting in the red and the price oscillators are technically still in a downtrend. But obviously the RSI has just seen a bounce from these oversold levels, which is technically one bullish sign that we are seeing on the 12 hour Bitcoin charts. But once again, we're still yet to actually confirm another short term uptrend here. So just keep that in mind. And now taking a quick look at what's happening in the Bitcoin short positions. This right here is the percentage of Bitcoin short positions on the Binance exchange. And this right here is the percentage of Bitcoin short positions positions on the Bybit exchange. And over the past three to four weeks, we have seen a short term downtrend in the percentage of Bitcoin short positions on these two major exchanges. But only just over the past couple of days, we have seen a slight increase in the percentage of Bitcoin short positions on these exchanges. So far, this slight increase is nothing really major. In fact, it could be nothing more than natural volatility that we normally see in the crypto markets. So it would definitely be interesting to see what happens in these Bitcoin short positions on these exchanges over the coming weeks or so. Because basically, all you need to know is if we see a further massive increase in the short positions, then that is bearish on the Bitcoin markets, at least while those short positions are increasing. But when these short positions are decreasing, then that is usually resulting in more bullish price action, like what we saw around three to four weeks ago, also like what we saw back in October, and also like what we saw in late 2020 leading into early 2021. And of course, as most of you might already know, nothing has changed here on the four day Bitcoin charts when you're looking in the parabolic stop and reverse indicator. 
In fact, the only thing that has changed since yesterday is the fact that we just saw a four daily candle close, which means we just put in our fifth green dot here on the four day Bitcoin chart. And in case you are new to this channel, this indicator on this exact time frame has been one of the most accurate indicators out there in determining a bullish reversal in the Bitcoin price on these larger timeframes and especially over the past two years. Because what I have on the screen right here is actually the last two years worth of Bitcoin price action. And pretty much every single time where we have seen a few green dots show up on this chart, that has simply resulted in continued bullish price action for at least a few weeks and up to a few months in length. So technically speaking, according to this indicator on this time frame, we are potentially only in the beginning of a bullish reversal in the Bitcoin price on the larger timeframes, especially while this indicator is still sitting in the green. And something else that could help out Bitcoin is if the stock market is looking bullish. And only a couple of hours ago, the US stock market just opened. And here on the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ 100, we saw today's market open only slightly below where we closed on Friday afternoon. And so far in today's trading day, we are seeing a bit of green, which is obviously good for the stock market and good for crypto. Now, I want to make it clear that the stock market definitely has a lot of work to do in order to call this much more bullish again. But obviously, the first step to flip bullish again is simply holding above important support. And that is what is happening right now in the stock market. But if the S&P 500 index falls below this important line of support coming in at around 4,300 approximately, then in that case, that would seriously not be good for the S&P 500 index, considering we are forming what looks like a head and shoulders pattern. And technically speaking, a head and shoulders pattern is a bearish pattern. But remember, this type of pattern does not confirm while we're still holding above the neckline. So obviously, it would be great for the bulls out there if the S&P 500 index simply holds above that important line of support. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please make sure to leave a like down below. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe with notifications turned on for more updates just like this every single day. And before you click off, definitely make sure you check out one of these uploads if you haven't already, especially if you are interested in making more money in the crypto markets. But anyway, that is it for this update. I really hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next video.